Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Andy and I'm from Singapore and today we are going to take a look at the Steinhardt here. So this is one of the newer models launched sometime in April this year and from the looks of it, all right, you know what this watch is trying to look like. Okay, I'm not going to use words like copy or homage because these words they evoke lots of feelings among watch collectors or viewers out there. So let's take a look at the hang tag over here. The model name for this watch is the Steinhardt Ocean 39 Adventure Classic Tauschen Uhr. That's actually quite a mouthful for me to pronounce, but we all know that Steinhardt have been producing watches that look like famous watches, notably from the R brand, right? So this one here is no exception. You can call it anything you want, right? Adventurer, mountaineer, expeditioner, or mountain tortoise or whatever, but at the end of the day, <laughs> All right, we all know this is trying to look like one of those models that has recently been discontinued. This is the 39mm version as described here in the hang tag 39. All right, and they've also named this one to be a dive watch because I think this one here has got 200 meters water resistance. And before we continue with the review, I'd like to take some time to thank our boutique for so generously loaning me this watch here for my video today. And now with the lens zoom in just a little bit, I'm going to run through with you some of the key specs of the watch here, the Ocean 39 Adventure. It's got a case size of 38.7mm despite what the website says, all right, or the model name implies, all right, it's not exactly 39, it's actually 387 It's got a thickness of around 13mm from the case back here to the top of the slightly domed sapphire crystal. Luck width here is 20mm and again, uh, strap fans out there, they're going to have a good time changing out straps because I think this look here, the explorer look, all right, it's going to really look like a strap monster. But over here, we've got a really nice bracelet here, stainless steel, and it comes with female end links, all right. So I think for me, this would be a great improvement on the actual watch because I think the actual watch has got a male end link. Lug length here is also very manageable, comes in about 46.3 millimeters and I think you know it's going to fit plenty of wrist sizes. So as mentioned earlier on this bracelet here is really good, really nice. It tapers from 20 millimeters to 16 at the buckle end over here. All right, the entire bracelet is full solid. Solid stainless steel and it's got a really good mix of brush and polish finishes. It also uses screws for the links, all right? So screw in links the Steinhardt Adventure here is also powered by ETA 2824 and they've included the 2824 with the gold state position here right? because I guess uh, all these things are subject to movement availability so uh, they're not gonna source for a special no date movement for this one all right? so no issues with that because uh, you know, having a gold state is not really a problem all right? you just need to pop out the crown one more time and I think it's not a problem at all at the time of this video, the Adventure 39 goes for Singapore dollars 738. Of course, you can drop by our boutique, speak to Eric, perhaps he'll give you a better price. So in terms of case design and build quality, I think, you know, I'll be honest with you, I think the build quality for this watch is really on a high stand. You know, the brushing here is of really fine and high quality, top of the lux over here. I'm not such a big fan of the polished bezel overall. But over here, you've got a really nice bevel as it meets the mid case. So I think, you know, this is really good work by Steinhardt. So there's been plenty of talk on the internet, you know, about all these look-alike watches, all right? So some fans are quick to say that, oh, I can get one from St. Martin. I can get one from Heimdaller or whatever brand. But well, I dare say, after handling the Steinhardt over here, I think the Swiss made Steinhardt here, in terms of build quality, is way higher than the St. Martin or the Heimdaller or the likes, all right? So I know there's a difference in their prices, but over here, you're really getting very good craftsmanship in terms of build quality, the brushing, polishing here. I would rate this one higher than uh, the China made watches. And now let's go on and talk about the dial design, okay? I know there's really nothing much to talk about when it comes to the dial design of this watch here that 39 Adventure 39 or whatever you want to call it, right? Like I said earlier in this video, you can just about call this watch any model. 
and we all know what this is trying to look like okay all right it's got all applied markers and nicely applied as well very nicely done nicely applied and the markers here are you know giving off a really nice 3d effect and of course this dome crystal here nicely done as well sits just a little bit proud of the bezel overall and again you know this gives off a really nice look to the watch but it's a shame though because i do find that there's simply too much text going on on the dial too much text too much unnecessary stuff all right so you've got the logo you've got the word steinhardt which is done in a really shiny applied marker manner but over here they've included ocean 39 adventure and seriously we don't need to put the watch dimensions on the dial okay <laughs> and just look at the loom shot of the steinhardt over here it is actually done really nicely very evenly applied of course this is not seiko lumibrite standard but i think it's pretty decent for a non-diver watch and coming back to the studio we've also got a fake stitch wrist shot over here of the 39 adventure on my wrist i would say it sits really well over here minimal curve to the mid case but there doesn't seem to be a lot of luck overhang so i would say at 39 millimeters 46 millimeters luck to luck this one here no problems at all even if you have a smaller wrist. And now let's do a size comparison between the steinhardt here and my own zin 556 i gotta be honest with you on this one here right i really feel that the zin just beats the steinhardt hands down in terms of looks in terms of design originality and all that okay so <laughs> i really feel that for the steinhardt here it's a really missed opportunity because you know the build quality here is really really good all right high standard and it is not exactly costly for a swiss made watch all right really good components nice brushing and finishing on the case as well as the bracelet but why why do you need to you know make a watch that looks exactly like another watch okay so we're crossing into fake territory for now okay it looks exactly the same uh, if not for the logo and the branding over here so i think what they could have done would be you know spice up things a little bit you know change the letterings a little bit change the handsets a little bit markers can be redesigned a little bit and i think it will look like a really good quality and really beautiful looking watch but as it is i really feel that uh, this could be a missed opportunity for steinhardt because this just looks like any other look-alike watches out there so there you have it that was my quick show and tell of the steinhardt 39 adventure new model only launched sometime in the mid of this year all right so it is a really good well-built good quality swiss made watch if you think that you don't want to shell out so much money ten thousand dollars and with the five thousand dollars premium all right for the r brand uh, this could be a good choice but for me i think uh, i really don't want to wear a watch that tries to look like another one all right until the next video this is andy i'm from singapore together with george we're gonna see you soon bye bye